Hey y'all, well, by the end of this year or sooner, we are going to know who is vying for the job of governor in this state. The election is in November of 2022. Now, Democrat Tim Walls, our current governor, hasn't officially said he is running for re-election, but I've been told it's pretty likely he's going to. And on the Republican side, a couple of state senators have said they're going to do it, but a focus is on one of the most powerful Republicans in our state, Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. I sat down with him last week to ask, will you run or won't you? A Republican has not held the role of governor in Minnesota since 2011, a decade. We'll get into that in a moment, but let's start with... So the big question, Senator Gazelka, are you running for governor next year? I'm definitely thinking about it. The question I'm asking my th myself is, is it the right thing to do? Can I actually make a difference for Minnesota doing it? Uh, I, I think I, I, I believe I can. The senator said he is taking his time making this decision. It could come in weeks, it could come in months. And he said other Republicans who choose to enter the race, that's not going to influence what he decides. Yep. Gazelka says he'll make the decision for him and he's focused on. Can I do a better job than uh, Governor Walz did? And I, and I think what I would say is I think people I think people will be looking for a change. Change is something voters often choose in a midterm. But I asked Senator Gazelka to be specific on what he would have done differently than Governor Walls. First, he talked about the unrest response from last summer. I would have gotten the guard in much, much quicker. Uh, Wednesday, when the city of Minneapolis asked for it, would have been the latest we should have done it. And then he talked about the state's COVID response. But COVID itself, I think we had to figure out how to battle together, and you know, it, it, we've never been through that. So I, you know, I don't know that I would have done everything right, but I would have done some things different. But emergency powers, like I said, uh, I would not have taken them as as broadly and comprehensively, and I definitely would have given them up much sooner. And as for the track record of his party in recent years, in statewide seats, it has been bleak. Remember, Palenti was the last in the party to win the governorship. Neither U.S. Senator from our state is a Republican, and the offices of Attorney General and Secretary of State also held by Democrats. If it's you, what makes you think you can be the one in the Republican Party to get Minnesotans vote, to take that governor's office again. I do believe Republicans with the right candidate can win in Minnesota. And as for which Republicans? Remember, some powerful elders in the party were not fans of the former president. January 6th made that rift in the party a bit bigger. So I asked Senator Gazelka which side he would campaign to. To win in Minnesota, you have to have the people that are passionate about Trump and the people that Republicans that are, are not, plus some independents and some Democrats. And that's the only way you're going to win in Minnesota. I feel like I can connect to all of those different groups. But unless you get the Trump supporters and the people that are, would support somebody else, you can't win. At this point, we don't know how crowded the Republican primary for governor is going to be. But even with the election being a year from November, Again, expect that race to start heating up by this winter.